Welcome to Math Guru Inc. And remember guys to like, share and subscribe. Now today we are going to look at sets. What is a set? A set is a collection of items usually of the same kind. And in this example, we have a set of animals. So let us name those animals. And of course we have a snake, monkey, tiger, zebra, giraffe, and elephant. And of course, we define that set with a curly bracket. Now I could put a picture of a pencil or a pen and that would still be a set. But in most cases, it is usually of the same kind. So if I'm going to make a set with pencil and pen, I would probably have books, chairs, desks, because those are what you'd use in a classroom. All right. Notation. Now, one of the most challenging aspects of understanding set is to understand the symbols and the terms used as it relates to sets. So now let us take a little time and go through a few here. Now each item in a set is called an element. So 3 is an element, 6 is an element, 91 is an element. Or they are also referred to as member. Alright? Now, these three dots here, they are called ellipsis. It means it goes on forever. Infinite. Infinite. So there are more even numbers than sand grain on the seashore. So even numbers will go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. All right. Now, a set is defined with what we call curly brackets or set brackets or braces. These are what we call curly brackets right there. Numerical set. Now, we have several types of sets. So these are just some examples of numerical set. Set of integers, negative integers, positive integers, set of even numbers, set of odd numbers, set of prime numbers. So a set is usually denoted with a capital letter and it also has a title. So the title here would be set of even numbers. And again, guys, you notice we have the three dots. And who can remind, remind me of the term used to refer to the three dots? I'm listening. Ding, ding. Ellipsis. It means it goes on forever. Now, what do you notice about this last one here? Positive multiples of three that are less than ten. There are no ellipsis. So, what does that tell you? Mm, ding, ding. It is a finite set. So, we have all the multiples of 3 that are less than 10. So, there is a specific amount. So, we find 3, 6, 9. And we define that set with curly brackets. Universal set. Given A, and earlier on I told you that a set 
is denoted by a capital letter. So that's set A and set B. 1, 2, 3, 5, and 3, and 9. Now a universal set is somewhat close to a union, but they are different. Now a universal set of cars. We are talking about all the model cars there is in the world. Now, what would be a subset of that universal set is Bima, Toyota, Benz, Lexus. So those are the model cars that we are considering. All right. So a universal set is a set of elements under consideration. So all these numbers here are the numbers under consideration. So we can use a Venn diagram to represent this information. However, you notice these two sets did not overlap. I'm going to ask you the question, why they did not overlap? And I'll answer you in a next slide. So again, let's read this. A universal set is a set of all elements under consideration denoted by capital U. All other sets are subsets of the universal set. Equality. Two sets are equal if they have precisely the same members or same elements. Now, at first glance, they may not seem equal, so we may have to examine them closely. Example, A is the set whose members are the first four positive whole numbers. So the first four positive whole numbers would be 1, 2, 3, 4. But it is not in that order here. It is 4, 2, 1, 3. All mixed up, all over the place. Let's check. They both contain 1, they both contain 2, and they contain 3 and 4. We have checked every element of both sets, so yes, they are equal. So, set A is equal to set B. So, so we have set A here, 1, 2, 4, 3, 2, and set B here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Set A and set B are equal because they have the exact same element. Another example here, A is 1, 2, 3, B is 3, 1, 2. Yes, they are equal. They both contain exactly the members 1, 2, and 3. It doesn't matter where each member appears, so long as it is there. The only way A wouldn't be equal to B unless I stick 4 there. So therefore, B would have 3, 1, 2, 4. And A would have 1, 2, 3. So they would not be equal. But in this case, they are equal. Alright. Thanks for watching guys and remember the joy of math is hidden in the answer.